In this example, we are going to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force of the given figure. This is our figure, palakayin natin siya. And in our previous videos, ang ginawa natin ay nagparallelogram tayo. But this time, let us use something else. And if you can still remember our lesson sa vector components, yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. So let us observe this screw. And it is acted upon by three forces. Okay, check natin. We have this 300 newton here. Tapos, we have the 400 newton at 30 degrees from the x-axis. Tapos, meron naman tayo ditong 250. Okay. Tapos, binigay naman niya yung slope. Uh, rise natin is 3 and then run is 4. So, now, try to go back and uh, recall yung ating previous lessons. We know uh, that the resultant R is equal to the square root of the summation of forces along x squared plus the summation of forces along the y-axis square. Okay, so let us recall our uh, previous lessons about resultant. So we know that the resultant R is equal to the square root of the summation of forces along the x direction squared plus the summation of forces along y squared. So that will give us the resultant force na hinahanap natin. So in this problem, what we are going to do is in order for us to find the summation of forces along x and summation of forces along y, we are going to find the vector components. Kasi, okay, if uh, let's take this force, 400 newton, for example. We know that this force has a component. So, may mga components yan. And, yung components niyan ay yung ating force na nag a along the y-axis and the force that is acting along the x-axis. So, ayan yung mga hahanapin natin. Same with the 250 newton here. And then, this 300 newton here, since naglalay siya sa x-axis mismo, meron lang sa kanya ay force along x-axis. Uh, for 300 newton, okay, we ha only have one uh, force x, and that is going to the right. So, remember, it is going to the right, so that would be positive. Okay, here in our 400 newtons, meron tayo dyang force x ulit. nag a going to the right. Okay, paano natin malalaman? Just take a look at the direction of this force resultant niya. It is going to the right, upward. So, yung x component niya, going to the right then. And then another force going to the x-axis or along the x-axis from the 400 newton force and also we have the this one naman is not positive this is negative kasi it is going to the left direction opposite direction na siya. we have three x components so again let us recall our formula for resultant so let us first look for the summation of forces along x-axis. So, remember that the summation of forces along x-axis is equated to 0, equal to 0. And, pag pinagsama-sama na natin, okay, uh, mag-start tayo dito sa left, going to the right. So, we have our 250 newtons. So, para kunin yung uh, vector component ni 250, we have 250 that is negative kasi going to the left siya. And we will have 4 over 5. So, gagamitin natin yung slope. 4 over 5. Pag, um, okay, next, we have the 400 
since it is uh, along x-axis, so that is cosine. Okay, cosine kasi yung angle natin ay from the x-axis. So, cosine 30 degrees. Okay, so ito yung nandito. And, of course, we have our 300 newtons. Yung nandito yung 300 newtons kanina. Okay, so, pag pinag-add ulit natin yan, since summation, so, add lang natin, 446.41. And that is in newton. Okay, so, hanapin naman natin yung summation of forces along y. So, y components natin. Si x, uh, si 300 newtons, wala siyang y component kasi it is resting on the x-axis. Siyempre. So, wala na yung y. Si 400 newtons, meron siyang y. Yun yung kanina, yung pinakita natin. This one. Okay. Which is going up. And also, si 250, meron din fy going up. So, yung mga long y, ito yun. We have a y component from our 400 newton force. We also have our y component uh, from our 215 newton na force. So, we will do that one. We have the summation of forces along y. So, unahin natin yung 250. 250 times slope yung gagamitin natin, yun yung binigay. Or you can uh, use also the angle. So, we have 250 3 over 5. 3 over 5, uh, you will use the rise. Plus, the 400 newton, okay, yung kanyang y component. So, we have the 400 times sine of 30 degrees. Okay. So, yan lang yung ating y components. Kasi yung 300 natin kanina is resting along the x-axis. So, wala na yung y component. And that will give us 350. So, that is also in Newton. So, here is our formula for resultant. The summation of forces along x-axis square plus summation of forces along y-axis squared. Tapos, kunin natin yung square root. Okay. So, after nyan may input, we will have 567.258 uh, Newton. So, let's try uh, to redraw everything. And we have the value of our summation of forces along x, and that is 446.41. And we have the value of our summation of forces along y, which is 350. So, pag titignan natin, pagpapansinin natin, that is this one. It is positive, so it is going to the right. So, ito yan. This is the summation of forces along our x, which is 446. And yung ating fy, which is 350, positive siya. So, it means it is going up. So, this is the summation of forces natin along the y-axis. And now, we have the resultant R3. So, let's say this acting here. So, this is our R3. I solved natin kanina which is this one, 567.258. And now, we are after the direction, theta. Ayan na yung ating resultant force, tapos yung components niya na uh, summation of forces along x and along y. So, in order for us to find the theta, babalik lang tayo sa ating trigo. So, itong y dito, we can project that one here. Okay. This is also our Fy, summation of forces Fy. Ayan. And then, this is our summation of forces along x. Okay, hindi lang nakascale yung drawing natin. So, paghahanapin natin yung theta, anong gagamitin natin? Theta will be equal to, we have our summation of forces y and summation of forces x. So, this is opposite, and then, then this is adjacent. So, we will have, tangent from our Soka Toa. Toa is opposite over adjacent. So, we will use inverse tangent here. You can input that in your calculator. Inverse tangent of our summation of forces along y and then, then the summation of forces 
along x here sa denominator. And that will give us 38.098 degrees. So that is the magnitude and direction of the resultant force R3.